Welcome to the Beach Channel. I'm Randy Kasowitz. We are at the Wynwood Walls kicking off Veritage Miami 2015. This is the first event of four, the craft beer casing. There's going to be all kinds of beer here tonight, a lot of local breweries and great restaurants serving up their food. So let's get to it. Let's go check out the beer and all the great food that's in store for us. Veritage was packed full of people, beer, and bites. Let's see if we can find someone to tell us about what's going on today. All right, we are here at Veritage Miami, the opening event, and uh, we are here with Alan Morris, who is the chairman of the entire weekend of events here for Veritage Miami. First of all, congratulations. I know it's a great start to the weekend. Thank you. Veritage Miami is very exciting, and it's four nights of events, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. This is one of the biggest fundraisers of the year for United Way South yeah. Florida. Yes, it is, and it benefits the people in need in Miami-Dade County. So it's not only great fun and a great event, but for a really great and badly needed cause in our community. This is the 20th year of this event. It wasn't always called Veritage Miami, but you changed the name. But still, year number 20, pretty impressive. It really is. We call it, I, I describe it as Veritage Miami, the wine and food festival benefiting the United Way. If you're at liberty to say, can you give our viewers out there an idea of how much this event raises for the United Way? Well, we hope to be able to raise between a half a million to a million dollars for the United Way because of this event and the generosity and the contributions of all the vintners and the brewers and the restaurants that showcase all their great wines and beers and food at all these events. How long does it take to organize this four-day weekend? All year. All We're year. Planning now for next year. Well, if you're going to raise a million dollars, this is a yeah. full-time job to create this incredible event. Um, does Veritage mean anything, the actual name Veritage? It's, a, it's our unique name that we created from scratch to describe our unique event, where the Wednesday night is the craft beer tasting, Thursday night is the fine wine tasting in the village of Merrick Park, and then Friday night is the interactive dinner with the celebrity chefs at the Intercontinental Hotel, and then Saturday night is the final big bash on the baseball diamond in Marlin Stadium with a fabulous wine auction and the most unbelievable auction items imaginable. If you had to pick one part of this weekend, what do you enjoy most, beer, the wine, or the food? Yes. All right, <laughs> great answer, great answer. All right, Alan, really appreciate Thank your you time. So Congratulations, what a Thank great you. event. Come to Veritage Miami to benefit the United Way. All Thank right, you. Alan, good luck. Thank you. Dustin Symes, he is the co-chair of tonight's craft beer event. Tell me a little bit about tonight's event, what makes it so special? Well, what makes it so special is, you know, you've got a lot of competition here, all in Wynwood, a lot of local breweries. I believe we got about 120 of them. And all these people are coming together for the common mission for helping out this community. And that's what the United Way is all about. you got a ton of people here. This is the 20th year uh, United Way is in action. I think they've done about $11 million since they started uh, Veritage. See this many people having a good time together. That makes it very special to me. What makes this event so fun? This seems like a really, you know, a lot of people associate wine events as being very stuffy, but everybody can relate to the beer. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm an Oklahoma guy, so beer's in my blood. So, uh, But I'll tell you what's really cool about this is there's something called Young Leaders United Way. That's a group of, of about 1,500 people in Miami, all under the age of 40. And this is really our event. This is how it started to create awareness for the younger generation, for the people that are going to take United Way to the next level. And everything in Boston so much. We have an after party tonight. It's just going to be great. And, you know, it's sold out. And it's all for a good cause. Sounds like a great time. Yeah, all right, well, well, pace yourself tonight. Always, always. All right, nice take, care. Care. Bye -bye. take care. Bye-bye. Enough business. Let's get to the fun. Time to check out some of the craft beers. All right, we're joined by Melissa Sorensen, and she is with... Isla Marotta Beer Company, and all the way up here in Miami from the Keys. I didn't know they brew, uh, they brew beer down in the Keys. We sure do. We have an amazing tasting room. It's a mile marker 82.5 on the ocean side. Um, we do a lot of small batch brewing there, seasonal, fun experiments. So it's an amazing place to come check out. Well, it makes a lot of sense that uh, you guys will be brewing beer in the Keys because everyone knows people in the Keys love to, well, they like to drink a little bit. Just a little. 
Yeah, especially if it's a nice refreshing citrus beer, which is what we aim for. We're great on the boat, hot days, Miami, Key Largo, anywhere there's water or whatever you want to call your sandbar. It's the best place to be. What a perfect job for you. You grew up in the Keys, didn't you? I did. I grew up in Key Largo. And now you're uh, you're living a dream, right? Absolutely. All right, well, listen, enjoy yourself tonight. Thank you. You too. Okay. Yeah. Isla Mirada Beer Company. Wakefield with Jay Wakefield Brewing. First of all, John, how are you, you having a good time tonight? Absolutely, having a great time. Tell me about what you're serving tonight. Uh, tonight we have our Imperial Stout, our IPA, our Root Beer Brown Ale, and our Blood Orange Berlin. Uh, People don't necessarily associate Miami and brewing their own beers, do they yet? No, not yet, and uh, hopefully I can be part of that movement and help change all that. Your company is located right here in Wynwood. Absolutely. We are on 120 Northwest 24th Street. We are east of Panther Coffee on 24th Street on the right-hand side. And is the public welcome to come to your place, or do they just go purchase your beer at a different location? Uh, we are in the market via distribution, but we actually have a tap room, so everybody's welcome to come by and drink beers there, grab Gowers to go from our place, or you can go to the restaurants locally around us and grab beers there, too. What does Veritage Miami mean to your company? Uh, for us, it's a great experience being part of this and all the restaurants and all the local breweries and just being part of this whole ambiance and this, this togetherness and trying to help expand this whole, you know, this whole idea of, of craft. Well, listen, we're going to take, we're going to check out your beers and uh, good luck tonight and good luck to you down the road. Thank you very much. Okay. at Veritage Miami and we will be right back after this burger.